Harris's visit follows Super Tuesday, where President Biden and former President Trump came out on top. That means campaign season is well underway. But how do Wisconsin voters feel? Armand Rahman set out today to find out. I spoke to real voters of all ages who tell me it's solutions, not politics, that's driving them to the polls. I went to Rafa in 2005. For Kathy Walsh, priority number one is ending the war and humanitarian crisis in Gaza. And she wants a president who feels the same. And I will not vote for anybody who does not support an immediate ceasefire, putting a lot more aid to rebuild Gaza. Other seasoned voters are also hoping lawmakers change how they think. I'm very concerned about the environment and global warming. I mean, it is here, whether we want to admit it or not, it is here. There's still a call for young voters to keep showing up. About half of registered voters under 25 in Wisconsin cast a ballot last November. And I think the division, the, the, the um, some of the you know, Supreme Court rulings have really um, enlightened the young people to realize they need to get involved. The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade continues to dominate most political conversations on UW-Madison's campus. And looking at who cares about abortion, who cares about um, letting women just have rights in general. I mean, we're both pretty much one-party one voters on pro-life, so we'll see how that goes. When I start caring about politics, like I just get depressed, I feel like, so I just try to stay out of it. But there's more disappointment than excitement about the campaign season. How much longer are we going to have to keep letting geriatric old men into office before we can do something else. That's been kind of upsetting as now that I'm finally a voting age, I can't vote for someone that I feel really truly represents something that we should be at, be doing as a country. And Wisconsin's spring primary is April 2nd.